Okay, um, this is not at all a Kamoa game. This one's just gonna be... Hmm. Why does Aleki go, go kinda stupid? Actually, it's probably just a stack game, if I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. This is once again a stack game. It's a Kamo game if it's a pro gamer move. I guess so, yeah. By the way, we're at 53 viewers. That is more than yesterday. That's an improvement. Trying to get my partnership, so if we can hit like 70 or 80, whatever the number is, that'd be pretty awesome. So they go in Cinderor Grim Snarl. There is like a 100% chance they're about to fake out something. So, yeah. Hmm. I feel like he's just gonna taunt. He's gonna fake out or something. I'm just gonna helping hand gyro ball. I couldn't really care less. Yeah, getting a free KO on Grimmsnarl wouldn't be awful. Get my helping hand off. Please fake out the Clefairy. Does he reflex? He's just gonna parting shot. That's fine. Oh no, he taunted. Cool. That does a chunk. <laughs> that that does a chunk. That's pretty cool. Anyways. Check it. Mmm, I can rock slide and get in the Venusaur. Yo, what the dragon doing? Not much today. So far he's been a failure. There's the trick. What'd you give me, bud? Is it is it uh is it a lagging tail? Oh, it's a wagging tail. And you got a weakness wallacy. What whoa? Widward's woeing to work. I'm feeling pretty baller right now. I don't mind losing my policy or getting the lagging tail. That just means I don't even have to set up trick room. <laughs> I will take that as a good thing. I don't even have to set up the trick room. Give me my rock slide damage. Wow, I failed to KO the Grim Snarl. So trick tells me something really important. Trick tells me something really important. And that's pretty much just that the Grim Snarl isn't actually carrying um, Thunder Wave. Because, what is it? They, they already set up a Reflect. They definitely have dual screens. They have trick. They need an offensive move. I'm going to try to sleep powder this thing. Getting the torque. Yeah, I don't know why he would switch in the Zapdos into a stack attacker. Well, the lagging tail is already on stack, so. Let's see if he safety goggles. Usually, safety goggles is a pretty good item on Zapdos, but I'm willing to risk it. Mainly because I'm just going to Dynamax the stack, anyways. <laughs> Oh no, stack attack has been slowed. I mean, lagging tail is one of the best ways to deal with trick room. Just because regardless, they're going last. Trick, what have you given me, sir? A weakness policy? Bada bing, bada boom. You are now sleepy. Alright, cool. Um, I... <laughs> this is gonna be kind of funny. I can do this now. <laughs> this is gonna be kind of funny, I can't lie. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna give plus one to this thing. And uh, then I'm gonna eruption what I hope to be a still sleeping Zapdos. 
Right, there's the light screen. Um, do I care? No. Still gonna do a ton. Get that KO. You know, realistically, I could have just gone for it onto the Moltres since there was no way Grimmsnarl was living any of that. There was no way. Fog don't care. <laughs> and Zapdos is still fast asleep, so that means I can click another Max Ooze. Wow. Wow. <laughs> There's the Incineroar. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just click my Vine Lash onto the Zapdos since I think it might just KO from this range. I think Vine Lash KOs at plus one. Even like even with like screens and stuff, I think Vine Lash KOs. Um, and what what else here? I have Clefairy stack attack. -a. Yeah, I think Clef stack just wins. What do they have in the back? Ooh, actually, this might be a little bit close. Am I willing to risk it? Probably not. I'll just ooze again. Ooze is safer. And I'll body press. Zapdos wakes up, goes for the max guard, don't care. They parting shot me. Oh no, I'm at neutral. <laughs> oh no. What's going to take this body press? I kind of hope it's the Urshifu. I'm going to be honest, I really hope it's the Urshifu. Tapu Fini? That's fine. There's absolutely no chance Tapu Fini stays in this next turn. So I feel I can pretty safely sludge bomb the Zapdos. Leftovers Finny. The Reflect is gone. Yeah. Uh, I feel pretty good just sludge bombing. Or max oozing, I guess. Actually, no. They're definitely within range of Vine Lash now. They're definitely within range of Vine Lash now. And I'll actually get in the stack here, which is kind of a controversial take. Actually, no, I'll get in Clefairy. I was going to say, I'll get in the stack just because I want to reset my sun soon. Yeah, Finny protects. I think you're within range of this, even with screens and stuff. There's a lot of... This is a modest Venusaur. It's at neutral. Yeah, just barely. Cool. I got those up. I feel pretty good. Critical hit. I don't know if it mattered. I really don't. It's such a little amount of damage, and it's such a strong move that I, I really can't tell if it, if it mattered in the end. Alright, now obviously I don't want to stay with my Venusaur here since they can just fake out. Actually, no, I can stay in. It doesn't matter. I just attack this thing now. Crit mattered, throws table out window. Yeah, and they protected last turn. Just, uh, give me this. No, not that. Give me this. I'm gonna get rid of you, and then stack just wins. Do they bother faking out? They do. That's fine, I don't care. There's the Calm Mind. Ooh, you're actually gonna be an issue, aren't you? You're legitimately gonna be an issue. Sunlight faded. How many turns are left the light screen? Ah, you're taking a lot of damage. I'll just helping hand it again. <laughs> or I can sludge bomb it. Either one is going to be like a two shot. I'll just follow me. Yeah, it's probably my safer play. Sludge bomb, follow me. And then on the next turn, I can just helping hand. Yeah, I don't really mind if he protects. It's whatever. Physical Fairy doesn't go down. Sun's gone. It's not doing much. Didn't protect. Cool. 
they calm mind again. And they're taking some Vine Lash damage. And they're not Figgy Berry, so... Ooh, the Taunt, okay. Alright, check this out. This is the turn they protect. <laughs> this is the turn they protect. There's no way they don't protect this turn. Is the light screen gone yet? Yeah, there it is. Cool. Earth power. They haven't seen this yet. In the torque. Actually, uh, stack is probably better. Not torque. Torque's better. Because I don't mind losing the Venusaur this turn, even if the Incineroar lives. There it is. There's the Protect. Called it. How much is this doing? Eh, not as much, but I don't really mind as long as this thing goes down. It's not. That sucks. There's the Flare Blitz. They take a lot of recoil, though. Take more Vine Lash damage. Cinera goes down next turn. Mist is gone. Sun's still up. I think my play here is getting the stack and just Gyro Ball the Tapu Fini. And I should live whatever this thing wants to go for by. Gyroballing this turn and getting in the Clefairy next to it because Friend Guard plus Sun means I live everything from the Finny. There's the Muddy Water. Fairy avoids. Awesome. I get a weakness policy too. That did a lot. No accuracy drop. Oh, wait, I don't have a weakness policy. I forgot. <laughs> That sucks. Is this doing enough? Yeah, it's doing enough. Awesome. Good game. They can't bring it back now. They're probably in range. What? I'm going to rock slide even though I can just gyro ball. And I'm going to icy win too. They can't bring it back now. They're probably going to Flare Blitz to see how much it does. Thanks for the follow with Deathly Poison. Nice. Alright, I'll be right back. I have to go take care of something. I'll be gone, I'll be gone for like two seconds. So you're facing Billy Bob. By the way, guys, if you want to support the stream, I'm trying to get to 50 subscribers. I'm trying to make this so I can actually like make some money off of streaming for once. Um, but yeah, we're at 14 subs. At 50, we're going to be doing a sub tournament. So if you guys want to support, I'd appreciate that. Let's get into this, as we're facing a really cool team. Uh, Dracovish Sand Hyper Offense with a Trick Room option. This, I like this team. This is a really cool one. Uh, I actually really like the Kamoa option here, to be completely honest. I have to be careful for a Thunderous lead, but if they don't lead off Thunderous or Finny, I can take a I can take like a lot of advantage here. I'll bring Venusaur in the back along with Torkoal. We'll do that. Hope you're doing well. Hey, thank you. If you ate one Dorito, and then one Dorito, and then two Doritos, and then three Doritos, then five, then eight, is that a Fibonacci sequence? Oh, a Fibonacci sequence. That's funny. A Fibonacci sequence? Vish Finny. Um, so here's what's good about this. 
as long as they're not carrying Dazzling Gleam, I'm set. I, and most Finnies carry Moonblast, so I think I'm good. Like, yeah, if, if they Dazzling Gleam, I get Nanade on, but beyond that, this is a solid lead for me. Because next turn, I would just go ahead and go for the um, Poison Jab. And most Finnies aren't max speed, and this is like a nearly max speed Jolly Kamoa, so I should be outspeeding. Why is Kamoa so small compared to um, compared to the Vish? Is that the difference between 511 and 6? Yeah, I think so. I'd say that's probably the difference. <laughs> All right, hopefully no Dazzling Gleam. That'd be ideal if they just didn't, you know, have that. Come on, Kamal. I need you to not drop to a Dazzling Gleam, which they probably don't have. I'm just going to put it out there. They probably don't have it. Okay, they Calm Minded. Awesome. Awesome. Um, I'm gonna take that, and as soon as I take this Finny, we kind of just win. I'm gonna max to avoid any fake out they might be going for, and uh, I can follow me this turn. They don't live this. Uh, under any circumstance, they don't live this. Now, this should be just straight up one shot. If they Dynamax, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's still one shots. There it is. And if they end up max guarding this turn and just parting shotting, I'm just gonna helping hand and KO them the next turn, anyways. There's the fake out. And let's see. Let's see the results of our little belly drum there. Yeah. Oh! I'm refunding this game. <laughs> I'm refunding this game. It seems we both wasted our Dynamax. That is sad. I don't think it's Kamo being garbage. I think it's more Finny just being absurdly bulky. Alright, let me get in the Venusaur. I should be able to follow me Earth Power. Does about half. Good. There's the taunt. Alright. Yeah, I don't really mind that. I'm going to KO you next turn. And they would have to have like Ice Beam to KO me here. Which I don't think they do. Getting the coal. If you didn't max, wouldn't Kamoa one-shot? I believe Poison Jab's 80 and Max Ooze is 90, so no, it would have done less. But I would have had the option of Dynamaxing my Venusaur, which would have been better.
The Starfall, nice. That does like nothing to Torkoal. Wow, that actually did, never mind. I was gonna say that's gonna do like nothing to Torkoal, and then I realize it's at plus one. There's the Vish. Hmm. I'm gonna do this. Because I might be able to take one Ficious Rend if they send in the Tyranitar this turn. Uh, and that would allow me to reset my uh, my son over their sand. Yep, there it is. Hopefully, I can tank one. I, I can definitely tank one with um with what's it called, a fairy on the field. Well, I guess it depends if it's banded or not. Psychic Fangs. Okay, that's not as livable. But we still live. Okay, cool. I think we lose, though, because of the, um, the life orb. Yeah, I don't see us winning this one. Actually, no, this is possible. It's possible, it's just not probable. I'm gonna say it like that. It's possible, but it's not probable. Because I can body press this thing and hopefully KO it. Haven't shown body press yet. Hopefully this is enough. It's 140 base attack, pretty much, because I have 140 base defense. Hopefully that's enough for body press to KO, and hopefully we can take a rock slide and or have them miss a rock slide. There's the moon blast. Can you tank it? Tank it. Come on, Torkoal. Come on, please. We don't one shot. Dang it. Okay. Uh, and they have weakness policy. That's game. Unfortunately, that's going to be game. Is there any actual way out? Um, I might as well play it out and just hope. Just dodge both attacks, true. The fairy doesn't live. Nope, that's game. I was gonna say, if I live that and they miss a rock slide, there's a chance. But unfortunately not, not today. What's Finney's fourth? We don't know. Um, a built-in Cassie Berry? Whatever lets you live poison moves. It's, it's a built-in one of those, apparently. All right. Uh, as we're facing... Hmm. What do I do versus this? Is Kamoa any good? Probably not. Not here. Yeah, it has potential. I'll let you guys vote. Do I lead off with Sunroom or do I just go Kamo? I'll let you choose. Sunroom or Kamo? We got a minute. Also, I'm kind of feeling like really tired, so I'm probably just going to end it after this one. I know it's not because I'm like losing a lot. I just feel really tired right now. Kamu. 
Do it to all right. Yeah, I'll go Kamal. And we'll bring Sunroom in the back. I've I've been making it a really bad habit. I've been falling asleep at like 1 a.m. every night and getting up really early. Because what I'll do is I'll be like, yeah, I'm gonna get up early and go for a run. But then I'll fall asleep really late and I'll get up early anyways, and I'm like, I should probably just start going to bed at 10. It's not healthy, you know. And a one-hour stream isn't terrible. Yo, low-key? Low-key, this isn't a terrible lead. Alright. I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> I'm just gonna do it. It depends if they're fake out, but they're likely not. Rest do be important. It really do. It do done believe it, it it do be. It's Scooby Dooby. Do. Yep, figured they Dynamax. I can tank it though. Dude, bold Max Max Clefairy, it just eats hits. It's crazy. The max airstream. Can you do like 49%? Eh, that's like 50. A little bit more than I asked. They spirit break. Hmm. I could drain punch this Grim Snarl and get all my health back. But it's not worth risking, you know, not living. What I could do is max Wormwind the Slanderous, and I have to debate on whether I follow me or if I protect. I'm just gonna follow me. I'm just gonna follow me. Now, we all know how much the Spirit Break does, but I think I'm cool with it. There's the Airstream. I'd very much prefer if I somehow managed to outspeed this Grim Snarl, because uh, then I'd be able to lower its attack before it hit me, but it's fine. Spirit Break. Ow. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, there's no way that doesn't KO. Now I have a couple of options as to how I go through with the rest of the game. I definitely need Venusaur on the field right now. They send up the Dragapult. All right. So in all likelihood, they're not going to expect me to... Actually, you know what I could do? I could max guard this turn. And go for my Sleep Powder on the Dragapult. 
Actually, I could just get Kamal off the field like a smart person. And I'll sleep powder the Dragapult now. Cool. Oh, that was a really good play. What's interesting, though, is I'm not entirely sure the dragon move would have knocked out my Kamoa there. I think my Kamoa would have just straight up lived. Because this is weakened. Yeah, um, my Kamoa would have lived that. Dynamaxed. Interesting. Alright. Guess we just eruption. Sludge bomb. They're probably going to Phantom Force here. Draw, that's fine. Likely take the Grim Snarl away from them. Yeah. Kind of hope they just Dragon Darts again. Yep. It's going to be a really strong eruption. And their Life Orbs, so they don't appreciate this damage. Nice. I think I just win now. It could be close, but I'm pretty sure I just win. Because I just have to Earth Power the Dragapult. Any likely protects here. I'm mostly just upset that I switched out the Kamoa there. <laughs> because I definitely would have taken the Misty Terrain Reduced uh, Dragon Dart Spawn Dynamax. Besides Venusaur and Nihiligo, um, what Poison Mons are actually good? To an extent, I'd say Naganadel is pretty good. Like, I, I'm not going to overhype it. It's, like, okay, but it's 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 pretty good, you know? You can use it. You can get away with it. The muddy water. Don't lower my accuracy. Critical hit. All right, cool. You know what's funny? Kamoa might actually get a KO this game beyond the, uh, the Landorus. Because if I eruption again... Actually, I think Body Press is slightly stronger. And this Sludge Bomb fails to knock out, I'm just going to outspeed and KO it with the Kamoa. Does this fail to KO? It does not. Okay, I was gonna say, Kamal might actually get another KO this game. <laughs> but yeah, uh, a bit of a short stream. My apologies, guys. I'm a little bit tired, but I will be back tomorrow, 5 to 7. Let me see where we're gonna raid tonight.